Good morning or good afternoon whenever you're watching this. I'm Caitlin White and if you couldn't tell by the title today I am doing a haul of what I was gifted, purchased, and what was well gifted, purchased, and what I received in the mail uh, during my vacation to Corpus Christi in Colorado. Um, in between we also made a pit stop in New Valley. So we're gonna start probably with the one random item and then we're gonna do like clothes, home stuff, skincare, and like stationery. Those are the four categories. Um, by no means do I intend this to be me bragging about what I got. Um, I enjoy watching these videos and I know other people do and I like seeing what other people get. I hope maybe you like seeing that too. I don't intend to sit here and be make it seem like I'm rubbing in your face that I got all these things. Like I said, these things were bought by me, gifted for me, or I received them in the mail, which means I just bought them and they came to me. Um, so this is all like, I don't intend for this to be rubbed, rubbing in your face, bragging about it, nothing like that. So with that said, we're gonna start with the first item, which is the only random item I got. Now, I'm going to start this with saying I am an adult, I do adult things like pay bills and get gas and have a job, but sometimes when you're an adult you require a weighted dinosaur. So this is the first thing I bought. His name is Declan the Dino and he's my best friend, he's three pounds. And um, yeah, love this little guy like best purchase ever. He's so cute, can't you tell? Target guys, Target. So we're gonna start with the home care stuff because that's what I, or homewares, because that's what I have the biggest pile of. Um, like I said, I did get some gifts throughout this whole thing. There are some things that were gifted to me. I'm not gonna be sitting here and going, this is what I got and this is gifted. If you got it for me and you're watching this video, you know who you are, you know what you got me. And I can express so much gratitude. I'm so thankful to you. For gifting me these things because you're helping me out a lot because a lot of this is for my dorm um and we all know that furnishing a dorm is really expensive furnishing the house is really expensive so we're gonna start first things first we did an ikea trip when i landed uh when i landed in dallas yesterday um we were close to an ikea so we went to an ikea and we did an ikea haul there's a lot of ikea stuff here I'm just starting at the top of the pile. And the first thing is this blue coffee mug. It has like lighter little decoration on it and it's navy blue. Um, I drink coffee, I drink a lot of coffee and I'm taking, my plan is taking three mugs to college and I already had two that I was taking. So this will be the third and it's really cute. I really like it. I'm putting it in a safe spot on the bottom of my rolly cart so it doesn't get broken. Next is Okay, so this is going to be confusing because I haven't put it together yet or opened it and wrapped it from the packaging. So my uncle is the owner of the coffee industry and he does um, portable stamps. So this is a portable stamp. Um, so I have portable filters. First things first, you need these. If you don't know what a pour over is, it's a way to make coffee. Um, it's basically like a manual coffee pot, if that makes any sense. You heat your water up in a tea kettle, you have your pour over stand with the grounds. The filters are basically like a cone um, because the pour over is in a cone. And you have the grounds in the cone, you pour your water over the grounds and it percolates and makes your cup of coffee. And it immediately it straight, drips straight into your cup of coffee. It's an easy way to make a single piece of coffee. So I have all the pieces here. This is the base. It is a stained wood base. I'm not gonna unwrap any of this because I don't want it to get scratched. So this is the base. And then this is the ring and the stand piece. They're wrapped up in paper and I will unwrap it and put it together just closer to moving into college because I don't want them to get scratched and gross and nasty. Um, for them, and you will see in my college dorm room hall, like everything I have in my dorm room, um, what it looks like. Then the next part of that is a glass cone. I'm just going to show you that. So it looks like 
you can take this plastic piece off the bottom here, but that just allows the cone to sit, I assume, on the top of your coffee cup. Um, it is just a glass cone. It sits in the ring of the pour over stand to hold your filter and your coffee grounds. Um, so that's this piece. I'm not going to take it out of the box. I have it wrapped in paper towels because I had to fly home with it and I didn't want it to get broken. So I'm not taking that out of the box. Next, again from Ikea, I just got a small desk mirror. It's small. It has a little triangle stand so it can sit on my desktop. I got this toolkit from Ikea as well. I like the little case. It's super handy. You can just unclip it and there's all of your tools. It is zip tied shut though. Yeah. You don't want anyone stealing any of it, but it has pliers, a screwdriver with multiple heads, a hammer, and a crescent wrench, I believe is what it's called. Next is I got a pack of silverware. So there's two kinds of spoons, forks, and knives, and there's four of each one. Just stainless steel basic silverware. One thing I've kept in mind while shopping for my dorm is that later on down the road, I can always buy the cuter stuff. I just need to buy the functional stuff right now. So next is a desk lamp. It's white and gold, and it looks like that. Um, again, I'm just leaving these things in the boxes. I don't want them to get lost, scratched, dirty, gross, whatever. Um, while we were at Target, I got a mattress encasement for my bed, and it's a mattress encasement. It's like a just a big zippered pocket that you put your mattress in so you don't get lice, pretty much, or bed bugs. Um, and then also from Ikea. Sorry, it's all on the floor around my feet. Um... I got this five pack set of clear containers. So these are intended for the bathroom. It has a, you can see, there's a product picture right there. So there's one big one, one long one, and three little ones, those three. They all have lids, the lids do have holes in them, but my plan for this is my desk has two narrow top drawers and then there's like a side section that's shelves so my plan is to have at least the big container on the shelf for like little bits and bobs and random things next i got the a broom from ikea you can see the picture it's like teal and gray i don't know it's teal and gray and it comes this symbol because it's ikea and you have to put it together i'm not opening this because frankly it being disassembled will be easier for me to pack. And I know like I could have gone to Walmart and bought a broom and a lamp and some of this stuff, but I just got it because I was at Ikea. And then the last thing is this tea kettle. Um, so my dorm has rules where you can't have like an exposed heat source on a coffee pot. I was originally just gonna get a normal coffee pot, like a five cup coffee pot that was cheap. And I went and looked at the dorm rules and they state that if it has an exposed heat source, it has to be automatic shut off. So if you remove the pot, it has to turn off or the heat source can be enclosed like a Keurig. It's inside the little machine. The problem with a Keurig is I'm highly sensitive to mold and I've heard a lot about how so easy mold just grows so easy in a Keurig. And because I'm super sensitive, I don't want to be having allergic reactions to my coffee. And I do understand mold can also grow on coffee beans. I do try my best to find coffee that I know is like good, but there's just, I don't want to have mold growing in my dorm is the deal. So this is a tea kettle. It's an electric kettle and it, the hot plate is an auto switch off. So you... The way it works is it has a, and I'll see if I can show you. You see right there, there's like a little switch. You push it down to turn the kettle on and it brings the water up to a boil. As soon as the water hits a boil, the switch immediately turns off. You remove the thing, the kettle from the base. You have hot water and then you can put the kettle back on and it's not going to turn back on. It's not going to start boiling it again. It doesn't stay hot if the kettle's not on there. It turns it off. It's an auto shut off. So that's what I decided to do was use 
an electric kettle because it is auto shut off. Sure, it may take me a little longer to make a pot of coffee in the morning, but honestly, I like a pour over because it's stronger anyway. So that's it for the homewares. Next, we're going to start on clothes. This is the first item, actually. It's a t-shirt, and I got two of these. These I got in Corpus on Padre Island. Um, they have little stores where you can make your own shirts. So I got this one, which is like a cool color with that design. And then I got this one. And I apologize, all these clothes are kind of wrinkly because they've been in my suitcase. But this one has a rainbow design on the front and the back. Super cute absolutely adorable the next thing i got on padre was this orange and yellow sarong it's like a tie-dye and it is way bigger than this i'm just leaving it kind of folded up and it came with this little shell piece so you can turn it from a skirt into a dress which is amazing i'm so glad that it did because i was sitting over there trying to tie it and then i was like wait a second um i went to Old Navy and I found this little like hair kerchief and I really liked it. It's red and navy blue and white and I have a whole outfit planned for this. So stay tuned because it's going with me in New York. Um, I got my roommate a pair of dog socks because she just got a puppy and I wanted, I saw them and I was like, oh my gosh, I should get them for her. So I did. So she got a little gift. Um, next is from Target. It's this green halter dress. So it's like got a V in the front and then it's, it reminds me a lot of that dress of Marilyn Monroe in the subway, the white halter dress. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about because it's iconic. Next, I went to this vintage store called Wear It Again Sam. Vintage resale. Uh, she sells vintage resale clothes. And I bought this green day dress. It's got like three different shades of green in it. And literally, I love it. It is so flattering on and it's like the perfect little lightweight summer day dress, but it's not a sundress, so it doesn't look like, I feel like sometimes sundresses get monotonous, but it's not like that. Next is this white um, pleated blouse with like a high neck and a tie. And it has long sleeves, super cute. And then this black houndstooth skirt it has buttons down the front super adorable it's like the perfect length on me i love it all right i'm just getting a little closer to the camera because we're starting on the small stuff now so first things first i got this um john hart makeup bag in purple my name is stamped on it super cute um then my aunt just had this around the house and she was like, I thought you would like it. It's a little pouch. You So it has a strap on it. You attach it to the back of the notebook and it holds your pins in it. And I think it holds like two or three. So she was like, you know, I know you go around and you journal a lot. So you would like that. I got my sister a book called Sisters. It's a board book. My sister loves board books. I got this for her as a little gift because I saw it and I was like, I'm gonna get that. It made me cry in the toy store, okay guys? Like I was sitting there and I was like, yeah, I'm buying this. Okay, <laughs> I got these um, noted by Post-it. I'm almost out of to-do list. So I got this and it has the three categories, must do, might do, and remind me later. And I liked that because I get in such a habit of just making a to-do list and then being like, oh my gosh, I have 20 things I have to do today and it's never going to get done. This tactic of dividing it into a high priority, middle priority, and very low priority helps me out so much when I'm doing stuff because then I don't get so overwhelmed by the tasks that have to be done. So next, I did a lot of sticker shopping. I put stickers on all of my, well not all my suitcase, on my carry-on suitcase, I have stickers. Um, I got this little bird sticker, I thought it was so cute. Um, this salty pretzel. This Texas sticker, it has little birds on it. And then I got this good vibes, little waves, super cute. 
we have more. I'm going to have like nine tickets. We're almost done. We were in, we went to the USS Lexington, so I did get some of those. Let's see. here. So, at the USS Lexington, I got these sunglasses. They say USS Lexington. Gosh, it's echoing. Can you hear it? I got this little camera. Also says USS Lexington and has little pictures of planes. I got this Corpus Christi, Texas with the butterfly. Again, really cute. And then I got Corpus Christi, Texas. It's like waves with the sun. So that's nine stickers that have to be put on my thing. So next is my Ipsy mail came in and I wanted to, I figured since it came in while I was on my vacation, I would do a little haul. So this is the bag, the June bag. They had two different colorways. I got the purple, pink, and green. It says love. Um, so my items were this Hula Beauty. I think it's a bronzer. Yeah, it's bronzer. Um, all of these are like minis, by the way, which will be helpful because when I go to New York, I can only take a carry-on. So my makeup is going to be small, but it's a little bronzer. This package is a little, this box is a little hard to open. So I don't know if it's just because it's so small. I got, I don't remember what this one is. But it's the Boss Gloss. I don't remember from what brand, but that. Super excited to try that. I liked the lip product I got last time. I got this um, Neogen Dermatology, Dermology Niacinamide Serum. Again, they're all like really small, but whatever. And then I got, this is Real Her Setting Powder. So it's just a little setting powder. I do use a setting powder but I have a big container. That will be nice to travel. And then this is highlighter from Estate. It's in the color Lunar. And again, super cute. Definitely taking this with me to New York. I love this little bag. It's like mesh and kind of like padded. So, you know, fun stuff. Okay. And then the last three face skincare items. I have not been able to find this where I live. Um, I use the Garnier Skin Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, it's the all-in-one waterproof for sensitive skin. And I cannot find the big bottle. I can't even find the travel size anymore. So I got that. Uh, while we were while I was in Colorado, I went to Ulta and I got a full size of the Clinique Seven Day Scrub Off Cream. I use this on my face every other day. Um, it's a light exfoliant. I don't use it every day though because that's too much on my skin. And then I also got their clarifying lotion. It's not, it's like so liquidy, but it's in the second stage and their dramatically different moisturizing lotion in the second stage as well. No, this one doesn't have a stage, but this, I got those two in travel size cause I'm just testing them out. I will say this moisturizer has an interesting scent I don't know why I don't know what it is uh, and I don't know if I'll get a full size of it when I'm done with it because I don't like the scent it smells weird and I'm not like sitting here like holding up to my nose like sniffing it it's like from rubbing it and it's like on my hand and I just like catch a whiff of it and I'm like ugh gross anyway that was a lot of stuff so that's it for this haul i hope you enjoyed it i know i talked a lot um probably was a little boring but you know at least it was fun um i will see y'all next time i post a video have a good day